So how y'all end up in the same room and it got it got to be? Because I kept saying Kyle. I, they said sauces in there. No, Wax said. I said Wax. I'm gonna go. I go to whatever Pyro hood you at, and we gonna give away ten thousand. I want you to fly to Dallas in Texas and give away ten thousand in my neighborhood. I said I can go right now with all my chains on. Let's do it. And he was like. If I wanted to go to Houston, South Walker could go pick me up from the airport. I'm like, huh? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I, I, I gotta ask you about just the fact of you going up to No Jumper again. Here we go. Uh, you was over there, and this time Sauce was with you. I ain't gonna lie, that's my boy. He went with me. He did go over there with you. No, Sauce was, I ain't know Sauce was there when I walked Oh, he there. said pull, he pulled up and he you pulled up. He was doing the interview it's, it's, uh, on, uh, on Sharp. Sharp, Street. yeah, he rocked with Sharp, yeah, huh? And so I didn't know he was there. So how y'all end up in the same room and it got it got to be Because I kept saying Kyle, I, they said Sauce was in there. No, Wax said, I said, Wax, I'm gonna go, I go to whatever Pyro hood you at. And we'll give away 10,000. I want you to fly to Dallas in Texas and give away 10,000 in my neighborhood. I said, I can go right now with all my chains on. Let's do it. And he was like, if I wanted to go to Houston, South Walker could go pick me up from the airport. And I'm like, huh? Come on, tell him, come on. And that's how it happened. So, but you was talking about Dallas. I was talking about Dallas, yeah. But, but you know, people be, in out-of-state people, Dallas and Houston, you know, they they like the same time. Who did Sauce come pick him up? Nah, Sauce came and talked this, talk this shit. Ta Sauce came and talked this but, shit. But, but, and let me ask you a question, though. Is Sauce Walker bigger than Pimp C? Hell no. Now, don't do that now. You just messed up. You know I don't play like that. I ain't never. Why in the hell would you say that, bro? And I love Sauce, but don't play with Pimp. That's the only thing I don't play about on this show, and you know that. So you didn't even say that. Sauce, you did. Sauce, That's disrespect for his Sauce hell, bro. Sauce is legendary. I did not like no damn Pimp C. I ain't nigga. never seen Pimp C break a hoe. I don't. Listen, man. He was married. I'm not worried about nothing you saying. This Pimp thing. C was what married. What are you doing, man? I'm saying, though. Pimp C. And, I, and listen, Pimp C tricked bro, me. Bro, let me tell you something. Pimp, Pimp C. Pimp C. Pimp C. Had me Pimp C Pimp C about that music. You know that, right? So he wasn't pimping. Pimp C about that music. But was he pimping? He was more about the music and the character. You know already what happens when, when people take on characters so in music. So everything we heard him say about breaking bitches. You gotta bitches, be out of your damn mind to think hold, that anybody, not just Sauce, anybody. He had a song you called what I just Inter said, International Not just Sauce, Pills. anybody. You gotta go, you know that man a producer, you know that man a writer, you know what that man did for the South. So for you to sit here and disrespect what he done by saying somebody who's of a younger, just like he did NBA Young Boy in two Tupac. Certain things you said, but we I'm never gonna agree I with. Never, nigga. I never seen him with a bitch. But if you crazy? So, it, it, it's so, about the music. The man left a legacy. I'm sorry, we done went on to something else now. Go you done messed go, up. Go ahead. I'm you know what I know. know. You know what I know. What Pimp C did for the South. First album went platinum. Now you can't go gold. Made your deal with the devil, but you sold your soul. Mm -hmm. I do. So for you to set up and even think man, that so, way, sauce a bad mother. Real shit popper, born top dropper, got them hoes singing when he got a lot of work to do. Nah. He, 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 he a got a lot of work to go. He, uh, he got a lot of work to go. And I know Sauce yeah, real good. Yeah, this is boy. Yeah, I, I know him real good. And he a hell of it in the South, when nobody know him in Compton. Did they do? Shit. The I, lies you tell. I watched him. So look, let me ask you this. So... Pimp C. Have you ever met Tupac? Everybody know yeah, it. I work, I work with, Tupac. with Tupac. I did, I did oh, good, Gridlock good, good, with Pac. Was Tupac a gangster? No. Tupac was ours. So basically, niggas in the wait 90s were tricking let, us. Let me, niggas let, in the 90s were tricking us. You, you, you tricked yourself. Ah, you, you, you talking about ah, niggas. I know so, so many niggas. I know so many niggas. I know so many niggas died trying to be like Tupac. They, 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 I know I almost lost my freedom in them hotels trying to be like Pimp C. You should have been. Because Tupac, he he was a gangster. If you call a gangster uh -huh. a gangster, all these pranksters that call themselves gangsters, this nigga shot at the police. Right. Yeah, you understand did. me? He stood for he stood up for everything he said. But was he a gangster? He was a real gangster. Niggas is uh Suge Knight is the only gangster in our really hood. Because all them other people that claim they No, gangsters, no, but you just said Tupac wasn't a gangster. When he's not he wasn't a gang banger. 
No, I said a gangster. You said no. Well, and and sometimes I'm I, I'm <laughs> slow because I'm old. Yeah. <laughs> you understand me? Because so y'all y'all youngsters come up with trick so words. Tupac, yeah. So Tupac, so he yeah, was not a gang banger. Uh, so no, so he was a real. If you look at Tupac, you thought like oh, he was solid. He was a he had what he have on stage on this stuff. Was oh, he a, solid? So he was a N-I, thug. He said I'd rather be a N I G G A so we can get drunk. So and he smoke was a thug right? all day. He, he was a gangster. You're lonely, baby. A smart you need a thug in your life. They Graduated from from a private school. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure did. Oh, was he a his, was he in he, character? He, he he was he was whatever. His 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 mother was a be, uh, 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 black a, a black panther. Geronimo Pratt was his born uncle. Born in prison. He he born he in prison. born in prison. He came up with that. He was a pedigree, homie. He wasn't no wannabe. Everything he did, he sitting up every day. He was reading the dictionary. He reading words. He was prolific in the things he did. Every character that he had, he said, "Fuck the police!" In minute, NWA didn't. Yeah, he was shooting at him. That Jump was stopping when caught. If he see somebody getting into it with the laws and they black, he's stopping. If a, if, a, if anything that's happening, he in it. He on it. No matter what he he might be he's headed to a movie, he'll stop. So, what nigga out there doing anything anymore? So he, anyway. He's gangbangers. Yeah, if you say who was a gangster and in his demeanor and what he did, he was serious about it. It wasn't no on the stage. Same thing he's. So, how many rappers have you seen that just pretend about it? 90% of them. <laughs> <laughs> you well, on that. the West Coast, on this West Coast, I don't know what you're. Yeah, on the y'all, West Coast, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's some serious folks in, uh, in the South because y'all dying like flies. Yeah, so 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 you believe a lot of people in this in 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 the world, a lot of young kids in the world are being tricked by the entertainment of this hip hop. Yeah, but, but you see, you can't assault the problem. What's the cause? It's white America and the media. Uh-oh. When I was growing you up, you couldn't hear certain words. Yeah, they right. blanked off shit. Right. But now with they making money, all you all you gang members, all you producers and getting all this money, you still slaves to the media. They getting billions and your little trinkles of a thousand or two thousand or a million and as quick as you get it, you spend it or yeah, throw it yeah, away yeah, on yeah. damn on on on, the on they mess around there and around and, and arrest you and make your bail seven hundred, two hundred, fifty thousand dollars and you spending all your money so, on so, lawyers. So you believe the white people in America are our biggest enemies? The biggest we got? Hell no. A black person will kill you before you might die. And so but white people been I killing hate, way before black people were. No, they wouldn't. I See, hate you know what? this is this is another one of these Negroes that always bring up that we supposed to be a lady told me a couple of weeks ago. Uh, well, shouldn't blacks take responsibility yes. now? You beat your child every day. Uh-huh. And he grow up getting beaten. He go to school and beat up a kid. What a responsibility the responsibility is on the parents. Right. Now, mother White people have never taken responsibility for hanging us for three hundred. Yeah. Nigga, that's 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 that, 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 they hanging you now. These niggas, you got you hung right there. These young, <laughs> these young niggas with switches don't know nothing about getting hung. They hanging niggas. What the hell you mean they don't know about? They, where you think they got they switches from? Them. They got switches from uh, uh, San Andreas fault, uh, call to duty, and all the rest of that shit. So Do you, you think blame, they learned so, that shit? So by you blaming everything? Everything? Oh, oh man! Every single goddamn thing. <laughs> so what about the whole? The hoes too. The hoes wasn't hoes until a white man said they could be hoes. Man, hell no. Sexy <laughs> red is the reason why these little bitches red. is, is what this selling sexy ass. Red come on. What well, this year? That two years ago, this is the reason why these young hoes I heard they was like doing hoes. that. They was doing no, that with Betty Crocker. What? I love Lucy it, didn't have her ass out. She had everything out but her ass. Yeah, man, I love Lucy with Thermal. Thurman. We got the young hoes coming <laughs> at, th- we got the young hoes coming up for listening to Sex to Red and listening to these black people. Uh, you listen uh, to her too? No. Nah, f- I, I, I hate Sex to Red. Yeah, yeah, because it's so okay, young. What? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.